Sure, very good question. So, if you look at the Internet of Things, it's hundreds of standards, very weird technologies that evolved in last 30, 40 years, and not uh, many of them are compatible with each other. So it's not really internet, it's a bunch of small networks. Uh, and uh, historically, we wanted to create a real internet of things where everything is connected together, and that's why we realized web protocols, web technologies, are uh, very much the ideal protocol for that. They are used by millions of people, lots of developers, they are very standard. So what we did uh, during our research and writing our book as well is see how we can push web standards, web technology onto devices so every device can suddenly start talking with browsers, they can talk HTTP. So the whole web of things is the higher level on top of the Internet of Things, is the universal language that every browser speaks and devices should speak to. I think uh, the, the role of blockchain in brand loyalty uh, is that it touches very important needs of the modern consumer. So in 2018, everyone is more and more conscious about what they're eating. There are all those food frauds and scandals that you read in the newspaper. People are more and more careful. They stop trusting brands, they stop trusting governments and institutions. So as brands, you can use that technology to be more transparent, to show every single one of your customer what is the product they're consuming, what it's made of. If you are saying things, if you are claiming that you're green, sustainable, CO2 neutral, whatever it is, that's a very important technology that allows you to give the numbers, to show it and prove to anyone that you rework really your talk. Ambrosius uh, is a blockchain-based solution, an end-to-end -end platform that allows brands to record the entire history of every single product they make, from the farm, you know, where the raw ingredients come from, how they were shipped, what uh, conditions where they're stored, and have all that information recorded permanently on the blockchain. Uh, and uh, make it very easy for that information to be used to optimize supply chain operations, for example, to, uh, to prove compliance with regulation in food and pharma, and finally to connect with the end consumer and prove to those consumers all those numbers. So Ambrosius is rebuilding all those technologies, make it very easy for brands to access blockchain powers without having to hire a full team of blockchain developers because they are very expensive.